when we open image in Photoshop, we could say we are ready to work in Photoshop. But before that, we have to familiarize ourselves with adjustment layers in Photoshop. As you could notice, I always keep my adjustment panel over here on the right side, which helps me to work very fluently with Photoshop as I'm using adjustment layers in most of my work. And I believe you're going to use adjustment layers in most of your projects. Few of them probably you're going to use a bit more often. So that's why I'm going to start with levels, which for me is probably one of the most important adjustment layer you could possibly imagine. You can choose levels from your panel on the right side if you have the same panel settings as me, or simply click on this small icon on the bottom with your adjustment layers and choose levers over here. So let's open our levels. And what is actually levels and how does it work? And when we're using levels, we're using this to correct contrast, brightness, tonal range, or even color balance of our image. But I understand when you look at the levels and you just started, there's nothing you could say. You can see histogram and you can probably call this histogram. But how does it work? How this tool help us to correct all these things in Photoshop? As you can see under the histogram, you have three sliders. The first one on the left side is totally black. And this one is responsible for our shadow. So simply speaking, this one slider help us to adjust the image shadows. The second slider is responsible for midtones. The gray one is midtones. So it help us to correct the midtones of the image and the right totally white slider is responsible for white parts of the image, which are of course highlights. So let me show you an example. Let's start with the black slider and move it on the right side a little bit. As you can notice, our image is getting a bit darker, especially the shadows or the shadows area are getting very dark. So now I'm going to go to the highlights part and going to drag it a little bit down. As you can see, white parts like cap, blows, and pretty much everything which is on the highlight area is getting lighter. As you can notice, our image is very has very strong contrast at the moment. And we can set the balance between these two using our midtones. So as you can see, when I drag it to the left side into the dark area, this image getting pretty much very light. There's two strong highlights. So it means I extend the range of highlights of the image. When I move this into the right side, as you can see, the same happens with the black, uh, black parts of the image with, the, with my shadows. Most of the parts are in shadows right now. Okay, set something uh, universal, not too strong. I don't like this strong contrast right now. And the thing is, if you get too much with your black areas, on the bottom, you have output levels. With the black slider, you can drag it to the right when you get too much with dark colors and brighten up a little bit. Just get off of some dark colors from the image. And in the same way, if you get too much of your highlights, if you get too far with your highlights, you can simply drag this white slider to the left to bring it down a little bit. And I think right now we got something really nice, a bit dark image with nice contrast by working with our levels. It's not everything because as you can see, you have some eyedroppers. I'm not really use them because for me, they are pretty much useless. And let me tell you why you have again the same, the black eyedropper, the mid tones and the white one. I'm going to work with these two. When you choose white eyedropper, for example, you can select some part of the image and it's going to be totally white because this white eyedropper responsible for totally white color. So let me show you on this cap. When I'm going to click on this cap, as you can notice, it becomes 
totally white. That's how it works. This eyedropper is responsible for totally white color. And as you can notice, our histogram is changed. The other eyedropper is responsible for totally black color. So you can choose some areas, which is pretty much black on this image. For example, here. And when you click this, these areas, these colors become totally black. Of course, it's not everything because you can work with uh, different modes. We work with RGB mode right now and we have colors like red, green, blue. Change the mode into the red and or anything else. And when you go into this one and we work with these sliders, as you can see on the right side, I'm going to pull down the red color from the shadow. So the image is getting a bit colder. And when I'm drag it down, the white slider in the red mode, as you can see, I bring down some red colors on the highlights area. And that's how every color works in this. So let's go back a little bit to something universal. And OK, that's pretty much basic knowledge of levels. And it's very easy to understand how it works. How I re what I recommend you just to experiment a little bit levels to create some simple effects. It's going to help you very quickly to understand levels even better.